Have you ever wondered how a piano, a masterpiece of musical artistry, is created? This isn't just an assembly of wood and strings, but a labor of love, a testament to the dedication and skill of its creators. Each piano tells a story, not just of the music it will eventually play, but of the hands that shaped it. The craftsmanship behind creating a piano is an intricate symphony of art and science. Delve with us as we uncover the intricate steps involved in creating this magnificent instrument. Every beautiful piano begins with a simple yet crucial decision, the selection of wood. It's not just about picking the tallest tree in the forest, no. It's a decision that requires a discerning eye, an understanding of the unique characteristics of different types of wood, and a deep appreciation for the craft. Consider the soundboard, the heart of the piano's resonance. Spruce is often chosen for its unique ability to transmit sound waves efficiently. Its tight, even grain allows for a clear and vibrant tone. The hammers, on the other hand, are typically made from hard maple or beech, woods known for their strength and durability. The type and quality of wood can greatly affect the sound of the instrument. A piano made from high-quality wood will not only sound better, but will also last longer. So when you listen to the beautiful melodies of a piano, remember that its journey began not in a factory, but in a forest. With the wood selected, the next step involves crafting the heart of the piano, the soundboard. The soundboard is not just another component, it's a masterpiece of precision and craftsmanship. It's the canvas on which the music is painted, the stage on which the symphony is performed. The crafting process is meticulous, requiring a high level of expertise. It starts with shaping the raw wood into the correct form, a process that's more art than science. The wood must be thin enough to vibrate in response to the strings, but sturdy enough to withstand the tension. But the crafting doesn't stop there. The soundboard is also responsible for amplifying the sound produced by the strings. Each string's vibration transfers to the soundboard, which in turn vibrates to create the beautiful, resonant tones we associate with a piano. The soundboard, once crafted, sets the stage for the symphony to come. It's the heart of the piano, vibrating with life and ready to make music. Now that we have a soundboard, it's time to add the strings, the voice of any piano. Just as every voice is unique, so too is the sound of each piano, shaped by the arrangement and tension of its strings. The process begins with the bass strings, typically made of steel core wrapped with copper wire. These are carefully strung across the piano, their tension meticulously adjusted to achieve the desired pitch. Next, we move on to the treble strings. These are typically plain steel, thinner and under higher tension than their bass counterparts. Their placement and tension dictate the higher notes of the piano, complementing the bass to create a full spectrum of sound. A piano typically has over 200 strings, each one integral to the symphony of sound that it produces. The arrangement and tensioning of these strings is a delicate process, requiring both precision and expertise. With the strings in place, our piano is ready to sing, but not before we add the final touch. The final steps in piano making involve adding the keys and perfecting the tuning. This is where the instrument truly begins to take form and life. The keys are the artist's palette, and each one must be carefully installed and calibrated. Each key corresponds to a different note, and this is where meticulous tuning comes into play. The piano maker must ensure that each key strikes its corresponding string at the perfect pitch. This is a task that requires precision, patience, and a keen musical ear. The process of perfecting the piano's exterior is no less complex or important. This is where the instrument's aesthetic beauty comes to life. The wood is sanded to a smooth finish, and then layers of lacquer or varnish are applied to bring out the luster and depth of the grain. This is craftsmanship at its finest, a blend of technical skill, aesthetic sensibility, and a deep appreciation for the material. But the craftsmanship doesn't stop there. The piano maker will spend countless hours scrutinizing every detail, from the alignment of the keys to the sound of each note, to ensure that the instrument is not just visually stunning, but also musically exceptional. This is the art and science of piano making, a delicate balance of form and function, aesthetics and acoustics. 
And there you have it, a finely crafted piano, ready to create the most beautiful melodies. The art of piano making is indeed a testament to human ingenuity and craftsmanship.